Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Edward Laska and Fritz England. This very beautiful chess game was played in the Netherlands in 1913. Edward Laska had white pieces and he started with e4. Fritz England played e5. Knight to f3. Knight to c6. Knight to c3. Knight to f6. Four knights variation. The Spanish game, four knights variation. Black to move. Knight to d4 was played, daring white to take the pawn on e5. What would you do? Would you take the pawn on e5 or the knight on d4? Edward Laska accepted the challenge and captured the pawn. Knight takes on e5. If knight takes on d4, then one line goes like this. E takes on d4, e5, d takes on c3, pawn takes knight, queen takes on f6. But this is a game for another time. Back to our game. We have knight takes on e5, queen to e7. Why to move knight to f3? If f4, then knight takes on b5, and after knight takes on b5, d6. Back to our game. Knight to f3. Knight takes on e4. What is the best move for white in this position? Black is threatening knight takes on c3, removing the defender of the bishop, and then knight takes on b5. So what is the best move for white? Edward Laska castled kingside. This is the best move. White king is safe, and it makes a big difference between two sides. Knight takes on c3. D takes on c3, black to move. Knight takes on f3 was played. Knight takes on b5 has the tiny downside. Rook to e1, bye bye queen. Back to our game. Knight takes on f3, check. Queen takes knight. Queen to c5, removing the queen from the dangerous e-file. Intending bishop to e7 and castling king's side. Rook to e1, check. Bishop to e7. White to move. White will try to make the most of black's uncastled king. How to do that? Edward Laska played bishop to d3. Black to move. Should black cast the king's side or not? d5 was played. What's wrong with casting king's side? If castling kingside, then the queen to e4, threatening a checkmate. And also, queen takes bishop. After defending the king, queen takes on e7, winning a piece. Back to our game. So we have d5, preventing queen to e4 and activating the light squared bishop. Bishop to e3, attacking the queen. Queen to d6, bishop to f4, attacking the queen again. Queen to f6, white to move. This is a very interesting moment of the game. Black is offering white to take the pawn on d5. But what is defending the bishop then? So, the question is, can queen take on d5 or not? Would you? Edward Laska did. He captured the pawn, allowing black to take the bishop. But the offer was not accepted. c6 was played. If queen takes on f4, then bishop to b5 check. And after c6, bishop takes on c6 check. b takes on c6, queen takes on c6 check, winning the rook. And what else? If king goes to f8, how would you continue then? Then there is a very beautiful checkmate in two, starting with queen to d8 check, and after bishop takes on d8, rook to e8 checkmate. Back to our game. So we have not queen takes bishop, but c6 attacking the queen, queen to e4, bishop to e6, of course, castling is out of question because of queen takes on h7 check mate. 
bishop to e6, rook to e3, the rook lift, the rook is going to g3 or h3, bishop to c5, creating a threat, bishop to e5, creating even a bigger threat, queen to h6, rook to g3, threatening bishop takes on g7, bishop to f8, defending but under developing, rook to d1, and now castling queen side, and finally black king reached safety by castling queen side, but Laska found an interesting way to continue. What would you do? Please pause and find the best move for white. Laska remembered studying the Borden's game and Borden's checkmate. Have you had a Borden's checkmate? If you haven't, this is a chance. And the move is, what is the move? Queen to c6, check. Pawn takes queen, what else? And there is checkmate in one. Bishop to a6, checkmate. What a beautiful checkmate. It is a good idea to study the games of old masters, isn't it? Which old master is your favorite? What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.